Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me today. This video is going to be a little bit different because I actually started to do sort of a vlog style and talked about my week and then I ended up doing a get ready with me. So this is sort of like an everyday look. I am 69 years old. Um, I'm not using any filters, I guess you could say, just lights. And I'm gonna just show you my, my bare skin. So, and I really usually have a hard time with that because my skin is kind of icky. But at 69, I guess I really can't complain. So anyways, if you're really curious about everything that's happened this week and watching my Get Ready With Me, stay tuned. So I watched a video this morning and it kind of really stuck with me. So um, I'm heading out, I'm heading to the doctors and, and then I'm gonna go to, to the gym. Yeah, I joined the gym and I'm trying really hard guys to, to lose weight. But anyways, this video really resonated with me and I, wanna, I guess I wanna talk about it, right? Because not that I'm facing many of the same types of comments, but yeah, there's like real life. So if you want real life, the video was, stay um, tuned. The video I watched was Tammy, um, Ageless Beauty. And, um, you know, I've, I've watched Tammy for a number of years. In fact, she was, you know, there was a, like four or five YouTubers I watched way back in the day before I even really started talking about makeup and skincare and stuff like that. And she was talking about real life versus what you sometimes see in videos, real life, and, you know, Instagram life as opposed to real life, right? And it, it really makes me think sometimes, actually a lot of times, because real life is not Instagram life. It really isn't. And I worry so much about the messages we are sending our young people, you know, our young folks that feel they have to grow up and look perfect or be perfect or, you know, definition of beauty, definition of this and youth and all of this stuff. Well, Tammy, you know, she's gone gray. She's gone white, I should say. She has beautiful, long, thick hair. She's lost weight. She's very physically fit. She's doing the best she can to age slowly you know, gracefully, um, as I think a lot of us are doing, right? I mean, you know, is it okay to have Botox and surgery? Sure, if that's, if that's what floats your boat, you know, if that's what you can do. Not everyone can afford it. There's a couple of YouTubers, there's one YouTuber in particular that I, um, I have watched go through plastic surgery, um, and then there's YouTube, there's people, famous people that I've watched go through plastic surgery. <laughs> they don't even look like themselves anymore. And sometimes I think, oh my gosh, these people look better before they had all that surgery. So, and I'm not saying never, never, I'm never gonna do it. And that's not what Tammy said either, but she's being super criticized because she's letting her natural self shine through, you know, the, the white, she's beautiful, thick white hair. You know, I'm freaking out because right. My hair is really dry right now. I'm thinning out again. I'm losing it. I'm on that medication. I'll link the name of it below, um, for the preventative for breast cancer. And one of the side effects is thinning hair. And of course, if you're prone to thinning hair, you're going to, in my opinion, it's going to be more of an issue. Uh, you know, I don't know, you know, it's like one thing after another, but it really, her video this morning, and I will link her video, but her video for this woman, and she's a beautiful woman, you know, she's a, she's a beautiful woman and she is confident in her skin. And she, like all of us, some days I love my hair. Some days I hate my hair. Some days I think my skin looks crappy other days I think wow for 69 it's not bad but you know this is real life glasses I've got a little bit of makeup on I'm heading to the doctor 
and this video has just stuck with me. And I don't know how you guys all feel, but I think that the expectations of being perfect, especially on YouTube, is so unrealistic. You know, I look at some of my videos and it's like some of them get awesome views. Some of them get crappy views. And it's like when I'm real life Monica, the videos get the lousiest views. It's like, okay. And I can say to myself, well, why am I doing this? And I do say that. Why am I doing this? I didn't have a video up this past weekend. You know, I had some really fun stuff that we did on Saturday. And um, I, didn't, I just didn't record on Sunday. So, you know, the expectations we put on ourselves is like, it's like crazy. And I, and I feel, what in the world do I have to talk about, right? If my real life videos aren't that great, which they're not, I know. But what do I have to talk about? You know, um, I could talk about upcoming things that we're going to be doing this winter and plans for next year that we're trying to formulate. You know, my husband's going to go through some, he's going to go through hip replacement. So I, I don't know if he'll let me vlog a lot of that, but, you know, that's real life, right? And here I am going to the doctors, so I'm not going to be able to talk really long, but I'll probably pick this up afterwards. And after the doctors, I'm going to the gym. I really don't know if this will ever see the light of day, but this is sort of real life vlog. All the boring stuff real life vlog alrighty let's see how this works oh my gosh um, I'm gonna try a little bit of a get ready with me a little bit of a chit chat so you you probably noticed that I never came back after I had started that vlog so I'm going to probably fast forward through a lot of this because I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I did buy a mirror, so I am seeing what I look like. I have done all my skincare. I've done my um, sunblock. What else have I done? So I've done I've done basically my skincare for the morning, including all my sunblock. But I've done nothing else. I've done just a tad bit, tiny, tiny bit of mascara. Normally, I put a lot more mascara on than I have right now, and but I've got a tiny bit on. So what I'm going to do is just kind of sort of sort of go through how I kind of do my my look. Anyways, I have a a very neutral palette that I'm using, and with its combination of Viseart. Um, and some of my Ulta. I also think I have one of my old Sydney Grace little pans in there. And what I do is I just basically do a, I used to always use the, um, oh my gosh, I can't even think of the name of it. Anyways, I try to do an all over, you know, sort of with a really neutral color and trying to really blend it so that it, it's sort of a bone color, right? And right now, the all-over color that I'm using is something that I picked up in Ulta. I am using a purple shade. This is a Sigma brush. I don't normally use any kind of blend. I've got a few different brushes that I've had over the course of a couple of years. So I kind of like, you know, just fluctuate between everyday no-name brushes and my really nice brushes that I have. I have um, some really nice expensive brushes that I've been gifted over the course of time and I just I just really like them. But my the way I do my makeup is kind of completely different. So I put that all over color in and then I'm just kind of going from one side to another and I know it they don't even blend at this point and that's okay. So anyways, where I, I'll probably at the end when this look is finished and I fix my hair, I'll do an intro into the video. But if this works out, this is going to be kind of cool because then maybe I can do a little bit more get ready with me. But as you can see in my crease and sort of like creating a little bit of a, 
um, sort of a out of V or whatever, but I usually go with the darker shade and then I kind of, I will blend it, but for right now, it's just kind of like looking odd because it is odd. Go back in with my lighter brush. I always kind of tap it off if I can. And with my lighter shade, what I'm trying to really do is sort of more of an everyday type of a look. And then I kind of blend. So I left off, the day that I left off, I was going to the doctors. And then at the end of that, I was heading to the gym because I have joined the gym. I ended up joining Planet Fitness. And the reason I did Planet Fitness, they run specials all the time. But the real reason I did Planet Fitness is because I could go to any Planet Fitness anywhere. And that's what was totally appealing to me because we are going to be doing, you know, a little bit more traveling and I wanted to be able to, you know, go and keep up. If I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to try to lose weight and I wanted to get into a routine. And so I wanted to be able to keep it up when I'm not near home. So I basically liked the whole idea of being able to go to any gym in that and I checked to see they have Planet Fitnesses everywhere. Like we're going to be going up to Old Orchard Beach. They have Planet Fitnesses up in Old Orchard Beach area. We're going to be going to, you know, Florida at one point. And, um, you know, St. Augustine, there's a, there's a Planet Fitness near there. And, you know, Myrtle Beach area. So all of the different areas that we might go to, there seems to be a Planet Fitness. So I thought that'd be kind of cool to be able to do that because I want to really lose the weight. My doctor wants me to lose the weight. I'm not getting any younger. Uh, you know, I have cut back on my hours at work, but you know, I need to basically, you know, get into some sort of condition, physical condition that will hopefully keep me healthy, you know, hopefully keep me healthy because it really is to me, it really is about not so much anti-aging, but aging the best way I can. And when I was talking about Tammy's video, I know this is all over the place, but when I was talking about Tammy's video and it resonated with me, it actually stayed with me for quite a while because I kept thinking about it. So I'm going to put this on here so that I can hopefully, I don't know if you guys can still see me, but I'm going to just do a little bit of my eyeliner. I don't think I'm a, a person that can talk and, and do their makeup at the same time. At least not eyeliner. <laughs> so what I'm putting on is this is Ulta, Ulta Beauty. This is Ulta Beauty and it's just the retractable. It's sort of like um, a softer liner. I don't like a hard pencil liner and it is a shade of black. So... Those of you that don't like black, you're going to be going, oh my gosh. So I use that. I also have a really, I don't know if I brought it here with me. I'm filming. Here it is. I also have like a brown shade, which I, I kind of use the brown shade a lot. And I kind of go underneath my eyes. But anyways, when I was watching Tammy's video, and that's the video that really was kind of resonating with me, and I was talking about it, the, you know, when I was going to the doctors and all that, I was really thinking about it, and I'm like, oh, man, I, I cannot believe all the people that don't like her hair, or, you know, don't like her skin, or her body, and I'm thinking it's it's her, her body. Yes, she's a YouTuber. Um, Yes, she, you know, she puts herself out there and as do I. And, and does that mean that, that we're free game? Well, to some people, we're free game, right? We can, you can criticize us and, and it's okay. Because to some people, I don't think we're real, right? We're not real people to some people in their minds. I don't know if that makes sense. But just because I do a YouTube video doesn't mean I'm not real. I most certainly am real. So... But her video, the whole video just kind of really resonated with me because I kept thinking to myself, wow, you know, here she is. She's got beautiful hair. Yes, it's gone white, 
Would I want to have the white hair look? No. Um, I'm not ready for it. I'm, I'm just simply not ready for it. Uh, I think I look old enough without having that, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, but no, so I probably wouldn't want to go that route. But I respect the fact that she does and she's experimenting and, and I think she looks absolutely beautiful. And I think all the people that are criticizing her because she's lost weight um, or they don't like her long hair, they think she's too old to have long hair. I think they, if they don't like Tammy or they don't like her content, then they should just watch somebody else, in my opinion. You know, just watch somebody else. I have never, ever felt comfortable doing a get ready with me, mainly because I never had a setup where I had a mirror like right now. I bought this really cool mirror and I really, really like it. I'm going to bring it with me in the motorhome. It's made by a company called Hollywood. It's not the real super expensive one. It's just on Amazon. I'll link it so that you can see it, but it's made by Hollywood and it actually has like little lights. It's got nine lights and you can dim them, but I like it because I can actually see what I'm doing. And then it has this little 10 time mirror here too, but that's kind of lame, but I do like it. So the way I normally do my eyes is I keep playing with them, right? Until I feel that I have them somewhat the way I, I want them to look. So I keep blending them out. I might add, you know, more color to them. Now this is sort of like an everyday look that I have going on. I'm gonna take this Huda. This is a Huda Beauty. I love this eyeliner. This was actually sent to me in exchange for a Sephora text review. And I did the Sephora text review, but I didn't save it before I submitted it. And you were supposed to save it and send it to them before you submitted it. And I, then I could never find it. So I got no credit for it because I never saved it, you know, unfortunately. But I do like this pencil a lot. It, it glides on really nice. It lasts a real long time. Now again, I'm just creating a look that, for me basically, this is, this is my, would be my everyday, my everyday go to work type of a look or, you know, hang around the house type of a look, right? Every day. I have no idea how any of this is going to come out. But let me just get my little pad here. So normally what I do at this point in time, I have this under eye brightener from Catrice. I really like it a lot. So I just use a very little bit of it because it is an under eye brightener. And as you can see, a little goes an awful long way. You guys are all going, oh my God, this is how she does her makeup. She's really wacky. Anyways, this past week, my doctor's appointment went well. He wants me to lose weight, which I knew was going to be a topic of conversation because I've had the conversation with him before. Um, and I want to lose weight, but I have had such a hard time with weight loss. It's like unbelievable. Just such a hard time with weight loss. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it my best, my best. I've got the gym membership. I, you know, I'm going to, I've gone, I think since I've had the gym membership, this is my e.l.f. Putty Primer. Now what I do with this, I'm just going to stick it on my nose, right? I don't even, I don't rub it in because what I want it to do is I want it to fill my pores. <laughs> I want it to fill up my pores as much as possible. So I don't really tend to rub it in, but I want to make sure that I, um, it's sort of like when you use putty, right? You want to pat it in and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm patting it in. I'm loving this mirror. It's got lights. 
I think I told you that. It's really cool. I just wish it would, the mirror itself would magnify, but it, it doesn't. You have to have this little tiny little thing that magnifies. But I really, really, really love the mirror. So, and then after that, now again, I've already put on my, whoops, that's way too much. Oh, I knew I was going to do that. I've already put on all my sunblock, etc. So, this is way, way too much, but I'm going to still use it because I can't get it back into the tube. What I'm putting on now is my Fiera. The Fiera concealer is the absolute best concealer I've ever I've ever used. Now I'm not a big concealer fan, but it is the best concealer. And I'm going to just pat it in because I have so much extra because I gave it too much of a squeeze. The nice thing about this concealer is that it actually just kind of melts right into your skin. Which, personally, I love. I love that it melts right into my skin. So, my scar is right here. I think my scar has done really, really well. It really has. I'm really, really happy with how my scar has been healing. I think that's awesome. I am... Um, I think overall I'm really happy with my skin. I used my red light therapy this morning. I think I, I forgot what time I woke up. I woke up pretty early and I used my red light therapy in first thing in the morning because I have it right next to my bed. And I, I'm looking for my, here it is, my eyebrow pencil. Um, I, you know, I use it the first thing in the morning, 10 minutes. Um, I'm almost, Probably on average six mornings a week. I use it some candy way. It is my red light therapy mask It's that fl uh, really flexible. You just put it on. I just lay it on and sometimes I just fall back asleep I've also been putting it on my chest for my uh, scar for my lumpectomy and then for my hands I have been using and I have it out here I talked about this before current body they had sent this to me to try it and I have been using that on my hands almost, almost every day, you know, and my hands still have, they have a long way to go still, but I have noticed that some of my brown spots seem to be getting lighter. And I had an injury here that just wasn't healing. I've had it actually since April and that is healing a lot better. So I love that. It's a little bit more awkward because you gotta put both your hands in. So what I do is I get up in the morning, after I've done my regular mask in bed, I get up, go to the bathroom, do that whole thing, do some basic skincare. Then I go in the living room and I usually listen to either some sort of a audio book or something that I'm listening to and I usually put my earbuds on and I put my hands in there. And so, because I can't use my hands, right? I, I'm not moving around while I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, I've been using it every single day, just about. I really like it. One thing that I have been doing, I've got really bad eyebrows. I don't have pretty shaped eyebrows, and I know a number of people that have watched my videos have said, oh, you should go have your eyebrows done and all that. And I just have never, have never done that. But I was watching Nisha, Sugar Puff and Fluff, and she was talking about how she had watched somebody and they had done their eyes, their eyebrows. And, um, and it was so interesting because she was talking about how they draw in their eyebrows over. I have always overdrawn my eyebrows. So I stop my eyebrows here, the thickest part, and I usually go up a little bit. And then I bring my line on top of my brow so that I'm over my brow and I go pretty well out to the tail. So I have, a, I have something that looks like that. Now, because I, this is not set yet, right? And I'm using my e.l.f. This is my e.l.f. What is it, brow lift? I don't have my uh, glasses on. I do have a setting, you know, um, I don't know if you call it a setting gel or whatever, but that I do afterwards too. But I always start at the thickest part 
and I kind of go up into an upward motion and then I draw on top. So I thought it was interesting that she had talked about that. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. So I've been doing something right unbeknownst to me. I had no idea, right? But that's what I kind of do. I kind of draw to the top and then I look at it and I fill in. I bring it down a little bit more. I might fill in both sides. I try to make them somewhat equal. Um, they never are equal. But you know what? I do not have pretty brows. I've never had pretty brows, but my brows are natural. And so my natural brows are uneven. So that's just the way my brows are. They're uneven. They've never been, here it is. They've never, this is actually LA girl that I'm using. So I've never had beautiful brows. I've never had even brows. They've always been uneven. Um, I have plucked them, but more often when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, I actually used a razor on them and shaved them because I never liked the feeling of pulling my hair out, pulling my, my uh, eyebrows out. Oh my gosh, just really, really, really hard. So I go over it. Of course, I don't have any, any uh, glasses, you know, eyeglasses on. I'm just looking at it. I think these are okay. I think, you know, when they dry, I think they'll be fine. So I've done my under eye brightener. Yeah. And I've got my concealer on. And now lately what I've been using for my foundation is, well, I use my Estee Lauder a lot, but when I go out and it's going to be sunny, I really like this stuff. This is the Estee Lauder. This is their Futurist Hydra Rescue. Moisturizing Makeup Broad Spectrum 45. So if you have dry skin, you might absolutely love this. If you have oily skin, it might be too moist um, for you, but I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to use my beat up it cosmetic brush and I just start to tap in. I just tap in. That's how I do it. I know I'm so boring, right? You guys are all going to, I can't believe this is how she does it. So Tuesday I went for a haircut and I went and had my roots done, my hairdresser. And she cut an awful lot off, which is awesome. And she didn't, we didn't do anything. She just, you know, she toned me down because I had so many, I was so blonde from being away at the beach that it was unbelievable, you know, because we were up in Bar Harbor for as long as, as we were. So I got all my, my hair cut. So when you see the intro, you'll see a shorter haircut. But, so I did that Tuesday. Really, really like it shorter. I think it makes me look better shorter. Um, I think that it looks fuller, even though that's totally deceiving because it really is not full at all. Now I'm just doing a little bit of blush. And this is ColourPop. Usually I have an Avon blush that I really like. I have never mastered contouring my face. I'm gonna probably take a class on that again because I think that might really help me a lot. But I wanted you to kind of see because I think overall my skin, well, you saw it without any makeup, right? Uh, I think overall my skin looks really good. And I look at it typically in a, in a 10 time mirror. My big mirror is a 10 time, I'm using Molly, uh, Molly Pore Defender. I think I first heard about this, I want to say it was Mary Ellen after 60. And I talked about this product and I got mine. Where did I buy this? I think it might have been Amazon. No, Kohl's. I think it was Kohl's. But anyways, I really like it for removing the shine. And so I don't know if you're seeing any difference on the shine or not, 
but I do like it for removing the shine. So then I normally, what I've been buying is this, is the Morphe SPF 30 Sun Setter Setting Spray. Now, this this has a high alcohol count, so I'm kind of like, mm, you know, mm. However, I realized when I spray this on my face, and it was actually Sheila that kind of reminded me of that. When I spray this on my face, I have makeup on. I'm not going to spray this on a naked face, right? So I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm just going to... It's a beautiful sunny day in New Hampshire. The sun is out. It is shining. It is hot out there. So... I am going to let this dry on my face. And then the last thing that I normally do is a little bit of a lip liner, really depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing. But I do a little bit of a lip liner and a little bit of a lipstick. If I'm just going to be beating around at home or working from home, I do very little as far as lipstick. But if I'm going to be going out, I tend to put a little bit more lipstick on if I'm going out for the day. Uh, and then of course I carry lipstick with me so that I can always add it when I spray. Sometimes I use eyeshadow to line my lips. This time I went down a little bit more. I'm super excited because I'm gonna go have a custom facial I, I've only had one facial ever in my life. So I'm not a person that has a ton of facials and stuff like that. But I'm going to go to this new salon to me and I'm gonna have a facial. And I'm like, oh boy, I can't wait to, I'll share it with you guys. I really can't wait to go. I think it'll be so much fun to do. I've never really done it. This is a super old lipstick. It's Becca, I don't even remember the color. And then I usually have a little bit of a lip gloss. <laughs> so that was a little bit of a difficulty with my video stopped. But anyways, um, if this works out and I can, you know, record like this, I might do a few more get ready with me. I never really could do them because I never really had a spot where I could put the video together. Um, and have a video and then you know be able to see what I'm doing because I cannot do my makeup in that in the camera lens I just can't so um, But last Saturday, I know this is so choppy. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry um, Last Saturday Jay and I went up to my cousin Ronnie has a little place on Squam Lake and he's on Little Squam and that connects to Big Squam There's like a canal um, a rivery goes under the road. You go through a canal and you're on Big Squam. That's the lake that on Golden Pond was filmed on, if any of you remember that. So we went up there and we spent the day with him. It was absolutely wonderful. He took us for a boat ride. We just had so, so, so much fun. And then this week was crazy. You know, we had uh, some medical appointments and uh, went to the gym. Um, I wish I could say I'm down. But I'm not down any weight yet, <laughs> but I wish I could say it, but I'm going to hang in there. So I'm super excited when I, when you see this video, I'm going to film a little bit of an intro and I apologize for it being all over the place, but thank you so much for hanging in there and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.